warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good day to all of audience. I'm Muhammad Fadil Maddin, who actually the speaker for this uh, session uh, to talk uh, on the special uh, webinar series under the sixth international workshop on UI Grimetric World UC Rankings entitled Humanizing the Localizing Sustainable Development Goals in Education and Research at Higher Education Institutions. And why this topic's title is very important and why we highlighted these things in this seminar, in this workshop, because we know that, we notice it is a very large, enormous effort from the top management to ensure that they can do, they can do something else out from the box in order to implement this SDG in their campus, in their university. So, for example, in UTM, uh, in this picture showing, this is our ex-Vice Chancellor, Datuk Professor Wahid Omar, who actually very work, uh, work hard in order to transform the sustainability agenda in our campus. And because we know that uh, this kind of program, this kind of SDG embed for the education and research is ensure a kind of engagement, part of the mission and the materials to make sure our global plan at our university since 2012 until 2020 towards to the ambition 2025 and of course ultimately to produce the UTM showcase and the living laboratory. It is a very, very much interest and priority, especially now we already reach to the second phase of our engagement for the SDGs. And we believe that many other universities is also working on the same. But this is a very special to us. In UTN is very special. Why it is very special? because we have our core value, the business that actually we engage uh, uh, with a daily routine works, but we are ensure that everybody is in the DNA of UTM. So that's why in higher education institution plan, they must have their own identity, charisma, and part of the uh, message or messages to the young, fellow, especially the young colleagues who actually enter the university and what they can find out, what they actually can contribute more. So that's why we have this core value on I means integrity, S synergy, E means excellence and S means sustainability. And because of we have that kind of core value, so we ensure that our research part, education part, operation and governance as well as for other external leadership is also embedded together. And this uh, picture, this photo is actually captured from one of the reports, very famous one, from the Asia Pacific of Sustainable Development Goal already published in 2018 to ensure that whether the university right now, they are ready to implement, to gear up, to motivate their stakeholders to ensure the SDG be implemented in place and be as the DNA and be as a kind of what we call that their routine works. So this is the major works that we are conducting within our campus and to try up that we are not alone. And if you look into this sustainability governance framework towards to 2030, we already identified what exactly our priority, what the green procurement, what are those elements that we have to highlight in order to make sure that this is the sustainability is only not only for the specific group, it's not only for the top management uh, decision, it's also not for only the purpose for the environmental aspects. But if you look into our UTM campus sustainability governance, we have Carbon Campus Master Plan, Ecosystem Resilience, Zero Waste and Sustainable Procurement, Health and Wellbeing, that one is a very important one, as well as now in these topics, we have, we call it as SDG Localization Master Plan 
to ensure that we brought up we bring in the capacity building terms engagement toward to the stakeholders what kind of support system should be in place and there are some other planning framework that we have to embed in our master plan and how to execute what's the methods that to ensure this benefit reach to the target end user and because of to ensure this SDG is well uh, established and uh, you know finally reach to that kind of uh, targeted group we need to make a kind of partnership networkings especially like for example we have a UI green metric um, networks but not only that we have my son I will explain later on the my son we have the SDSN we have the C Sun, uh, I mean, uh, Southeast Asia Sustainable Network. We have Aussie and many other things. So inside the campus, we have many kind of platform to integrate it. And how? This is what we are doing, and we started uh, last year, end of the 2019, especially to make sure that we must ensure our university must have their own master plan 2025 and i also believe many other institutions whether they are actually notice or they are actually embed with their corporate tagline whatever it is they want to ensure that their university is to sustain in future and now they also because of the pandemics and other kind of crisis especially towards to the funding uh, activity they need to ensure that the university is capable to reach that kind of development and SDG roadmap also uh, empower or also make a kind of priorities and opportunities uh, related to the core value or core business in the campus in the university and we already reached to this kind of step and ongoing we already have a kind of capacity uh, empowerment um, initiative uh, and also the ownership for the SDG because we know that SDG is no one left behind the tagline there to ensure that it translated back to those kind of stakeholders inside the campus either you are academic non-academic contractors other kind of uh, external stakeholders it doesn't matter but you must own that kind of SDG directly or indirectly so that's what we are doing in our campus and because of that to ensure that this is in reality this is in place this is actually we can we can do it this is not a kind of uh, sarcasm it's not uh, in terms of uh, a kind of words a kind of on paper but we are approaching based on the empathy part make it a very series of reporting monitor whatever their outcomes whatever the uh, elements in towards to that kind of policy we have now already reached to a very uh, perfect policy that we have so far in our campus but policy without implementation is no good because of that we need this kind of audit we need these reflections that we already cater from ui grammatic the impact ranking cast.net green leaf and also fee eco campus many kind of instrumentation we don't bother that things but this is to ensure that utm one of very very um, uh, prioritized under the sustainability and uh, in order to make sure that this is in place uh, it's not only based on uh, what we call it as a policy uh, or framework but uh, we are developing on the UTM living laboratory to uh, embed to engage to connect the SDG that we already uh, materialized since uh, early of this year uh, for example like in the SDG under the United States uh, sorry United Nation they already uh, established uh, 256 targets or indicator to UTM we already screen it out which one is more relevant to UTM which one is more prioritized that we can embed in our system in our procurement so that we are capturing that information in our SDG initiative making so because of that 
we know that the networking uh, by the global partnerships and UTM SDSN means UTM Sustainable Development Solution Network, one of our uh, the, the, the very uh, prestigious networks so far we have to engage under the SDG part we already have it since 2015 and this is already parked under our center of excellence spe uh, specialize the thematic area on water transportation ecotourism low carbon society global uh, gis urban habitats as well as for the sustainability but not only uh, focusing to this kind of aspect because in utm we are not only focusing on engineering we also have a kind of business we have a kind of hum human sciences we also engage very closely to other kind of network we call it as rce iskandar that one is also one part of this global um, uh, platform in order to ensure that it's not only the staff not only the academic staff can engage but also student uh, to ensure that there will be a kind of implementation on the uh, sdg blueprint based on the malaysian plan and to prioritize what the things very relevant to us to the campus so utm is taking over all that kind of inputs from various sectors from various reports to ensure that we are capable to mobilize within our capacity so that's what the uh, proposal for the sdsn utm and also uh, in order to make sure that our governance is very strong this is what we propose we need to have a kind of a champion somebody who actually very passionate about the sustainability one of them is our um, uh, utm chair professor on environmental sustainability datuk sri engineer dr zaini ujang is a very passionate since few years ago contribute donates book uh, endowment for example to ensure that the activity on sustainability is not only based on paper based on speech based on what we are talking but based on the action uh, he loved to talk to uh, to, to walk the talk for example so this is one of the uh, exemplary that we need to ensure that our stakeholder internally especially notice sustainability is about contribution either it is small or very small it doesn't matter so that's what we are doing and also we have a lot of uh, engagement uh, towards to the special task force because as i mentioned earlier we have a pgu1 until the pgu3 here and this is also part of our uh, challenges in future and because of that we synergize the stakeholder plans 2020 to 2025 under the ambition and we are making a uh, benchmarking the sdg towards to 2030 so this is what uh, the governance in our campus thinking and we believe that this also bring more impacts uh, not now but maybe in another two years or at least five years from now and in order to make sure our agenda translate back initiate to some uh, targeted group this is what we are doing we have a kind of malaysian university campuses malaysia sustainable university campus network under the erasmus cbhe that we already started since 2019 in order for us to partnership among eight other university in Malaysia to ensure that we understand what exactly the system is all about to strengthen the capacities so Alhamdulillah UTM is part of that and we contribute also in order to promote uh, sustainability and also to strengthen the human capacity as well as internally we have a lot of program i think abundance even every week we have a kind of program just to motivate just to uh, reach uh, whether they, they are contribute well or not contribute well for example how they want to improve with that one we also part of that so sustainability is about the awareness it's about the branding and finally you must make sure that you also part of the implementation means you have to participate 
So since we are focusing right now after the uh, COVID-19, most of the academic uh, instrumentation via online, so we cannot gather physically. So we have a lot of program that we offer to our stakeholders. We have ASEAN platform, we have uh, SDSN platform, uh, we have uh, uh, you know uh, some part of the uh, uh, ASEAN special group, for example, ATU Net, for example. This is one of the things uh, that we integrate all together to reach the broader uh, stakeholders. And one of the examples that we already conducted by now, you can see from this view, is actually to make our campus more green because we already green. 40% of our campus area is already in green area, but we want to adapt and we call it as Eco Park. So we are adapting one of the projects, we call it as Campus Eco Park for Living Laboratory for Sustainable Practices. And this is, will be finished by uh, uh, next, next year. And this is having a bamboo groove like jogging track, food wedges and biogas converter system, everything in one single entity there to ensure that we are not only R&D from our lab, but we bring to the living. So that's we call it as a living laboratory. And the next and the, uh, the, the, the last but not least is about uh, whatever uh, we planted the trees, uh, we need to ensure that the, the trees must have their own inventory. And this inventory is actually developed by ourselves. For example, like we have a GeoTrees uh, website here to ensure that we tagging uh, all individually the trees and we put it in our system in order for us to ensure that the trees is already there, who's actually planted that trees and whether they are monitored or not. So this is what uh, we, 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 we look into more focus on oriented orientation on that and this is part of our uh, campus sustainability international linkages i don't want to elaborate more but of course you can reach us to our website to our facebook to our instagram that utm is one of the university having this kind of governance operation services academic and research all together in a sustainable way so because of that, I would like to thank to all of you and hopefully this will benefit to others. And uh, I finally would like to say that please visit our uh, campus if you have a time to see uh, whether this kind of activity is not only on paper, it's actually been implemented in place. Thank you very much again. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.